If you're tuning in right now, you happen to be watching the world's truest source for hip-hop news, black culture, sports, and of course the best reaction videos on the net. I'm talking about Kofi's Universe. If you haven't already subscribed, it's your chance to hit that button now before I hit this blunt. Bada. YouTube salute. Joe Budden wants Dr. Umar to clarify his statements on hip hop. Are you talking about the music industry? Or are you talking about the culture of hip hop? If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Let's listen to this clip from the Joe Budden podcast. A single parent household, and then moms can't give you what you want. All the kids got the fly sneakers. The first thing you're going to do is try go to go outside. get it. We're going yeah, outside. I'm going outside to go get it. Unless you're saying that systematically um, it's, it's, it's put together like that on purpose, then. But hip hop didn't do that. No, hip hop didn't. You get do what I'm that. saying? Like, yo. But hip hop has, has encouraged it and put a spotlight on that. Yeah, my brain. It, hip -hop and, and, has, and I, I want to make it perfectly clear that we use in the word or the words hip hop. I'm not certain, again, that he is referring to the culture of hip-hop. Right. So when he is saying hip-hop, he is talking to uh, the music the music and entertainment business that is controlled by Jewish people. Some right. of it. Not even all of it. Got it. That's what he's only like, talking to the negative shit. He ain't talking that's to, what, like, five elements. It would, be tough, it that. would be tough for him to have that conversation with me as somebody who hip-hop saved my life. Exactly. Mm. No, yeah. listen. Like he maybe can talk like that to Mouse Jones, nigga. You he can't employed say that a bunch of people. I would love your him employment that. now helps people's kids go to school. I would love him to have that conversation with a Chuck D or KRS One and get that. Fam, on. Kanye West. Because now my brain is running. Get the shit off. Kanye West married Kim Kardashian. I won't say Kanye West is directly responsible for their success. He played a part in that. Yeah. All of that brain, because that nigga's a different type of brain. That clothing line, them skims, that this, that, that. All of that yeah. shit could. For sure. That's millions and mil fuck millions, billions of dollars being generated as a result, direct result of hip hop. That's helping community. That's you know, Russell Simmons that. is on Instagram just last week saying, "Yo," and I'm paraphrasing because he didn't. So it's not. Mm. I'm not quoting him. Saying basically, "Yo, I know how y'all feel about me, but I've been here too long and I've helped too many people." Yeah, I've mm -hmm. seen that. Like we're talking about over 50 years of people Damn. helping people. I do you one better than this. My other problem with Dr. Umar is this. He came right up here and said part of our problem is we want to do it for us and we're not selfless enough to do it for the generations to come. He came here and said that. I remember it. It mm -hmm. stuck out like a fucking sore thumb. I give him this. Music, not the music business, but music is many kids way through life. All right, y'all. So you want to check out the entire interview? Go to Joe Budden podcast. I don't know what episode that was, but um, when it comes to um, Umar Johnson, like I said, I understand where he's coming from. I respect what Joe Budden's saying too. Like hip hop saved my life as far as like music wise. There was times when I was going through a lot. I remember I had a girlfriend in high school. Her name was Kamari. And, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen after high school when I went to the military. And DMX slipping, falling, came out at that time. And, um, you know, when he said, if you love somebody, um, let it go. And if they come back, it was meant to be. He was like, he was right. Um, no, that, that ain't slipping. I'm sorry. That's... Um, he didn't let me fly or give me death. I'm sorry. My mind somewhere else. But, um, yeah. So, as far as DMX saying that, you know, and that, you know, stuff like that helped me going through a lot of stuff. Dealing with um, family members passing away. Some of my homies passing away. Those songs really gave me energy as far as, like, they healed me. You know, they was really there to support me. But as far as hip-hop, you know, like he said, Umar saying about where's the banks? Where's the um, schools? I know everybody going to clown him about his school. Um, where's the hospitals? Where's the, the airlines? Where's the, um, the cargo ship so we can import and export goods 
you know, you know, where's the doctors? Like, where's what's what's already going on? So Umar was on the Joe Budden podcast. Was it last year? Damn, time be flying and shit. He was on a um Joe Budden podcast last year. We only saw clips because you can only watch the entire um interview on the Patreon. It was Joe, Joe Budden's Patreon. And I think you can pay $5 minimum, but it was like a five hour podcast, something like that, five, five and a half po- podcast. So um, I think I would love to see Umar sit down with Chuck D, KRS1, you know, Ice Cube. Who else is some of the OGs in hip hop? Slick Rick, you know, some of the conscious people too. Don't win the mortal technique. You need to be in there. Go in Q-tip. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, there needs to be like a round table and have Umar right there talking with them and let him express himself and let them express themselves and everybody can understand where he's coming from because I think that will be great for the black community. Not just black community, but just the hip-hop community. It, it will be beautiful to see like Umar Johnson, him, his stance, and to hear Chuck D, Karras, one, and other hip hop pioneers, throw in Styles P because he's always talking about some great things. Throw in my song, you know, throw in some some OGs, throw in RZA, you know, like I said, throw in DJ Quick, MC8. I would love this, y'all. What y'all think? Post your comments below. Hoax Mash, Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support, donate to the channel. I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.